Hey guys, it is a super gloomy day here today, so the lighting's not going to be the best, but I really want to work on these windows and get my treatments up that I purchased. So I'm going to flip the camera around and kind of show you what I'm doing. All right, so I have these two windows and I had some curtains on them that I liked, but I decided they looked better in the dining room. So I found that curtain at the thrift store and I really kind of like the way it pulls all of my colors in. Sorry, the iron's out. I've got a lot of projects going on here and I'm going to pull out my sewing machine. Bear with me. Anyway, they only had one and I actually think I would prefer to have valences instead of actual curtains. I also would really like a valence above this, but I don't think there's probably enough fabric for that. So we're gonna go ahead and just try and cut this in half and make a valence for each window. And then, I don't know, we will see about doing that one, but I don't know, I maybe have to figure out some other kind of treatment, but let's start with what we've got. All right, so that, sorry, it's bouncing. I'm going, I have enough here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut along, there's like lines. So I'm gonna cut along this line so this can be for above the doors. And then if it doesn't work, oh well, because I think I don't really want much more than this width for the windows anyway. So then I'm gonna go ahead and cut here and split this section in half to go above the windows. So I'm just gonna lay it out here on the carpet and I actually have a cutting board. So I'll probably go get the cutting board, lay it out on the cutting board and I'm just going to cut right along um, this line, which is really nice that there's lines on here already. So let's do that. Since this piece is for the door and it's kind of an experiment, I am going to go ahead and set it to the side. And now I'm going to cut this piece in half right down the middle um, so that I can go ahead and do the windows first. And then I will work on the experiment. All right, so this is the bottom of the original piece and it already has, um, oh, what do you call this? So this is the, uh, this is the price tag and take that off. Uh, hemmed, it's already hemmed. Oh my goodness, I don't know why that was so hard. Okay, so I am going to take, okay, let's see, and this part is, that's the side. So I wanna make sure the lines are going the same way. All right, so I'm going to take this one that I just cut and I'm going to hem it, but I want to make sure I hem it the same direction. I don't think it really matters which side, the sides look the same to me. Um, but I do want it to be the same like hem width. So let's see, that looks to be about the same. So I'm gonna hem it right along there. Now, a lot of people would want to pin this along. I, I'm not a perfectionist though, and so I do not, <laughs> sorry, wow. So I do not pin unless um, I'm like making it like for someone or like trying to make sure it's like really good. But when I'm just doing a project for myself, I usually just kind of eyeball it and do the best I can. Cause like I said, I am not a perfectionist. I'm also using a white thread and I noticed in this one, it actually has like a pale blue thread. I don't have pale blue thread though. And I really don't want to go to the store and get that just for this one little project. Cause you will not be able to tell once they're up on the windows. So we're just going to do the white and call it good. I think 
think that white thread worked just fine. You can see the line there just above the other one. It's kind of, but see, you will never notice that when it's up. All right, so the side here is already hemmed because that was the original side. And the other side is the same way. So I am going to now make the top. So this is the other side that I cut. And I wanna make sure I turn in the same direction as I did the bottom, but I'm gonna make this one uh, probably just slightly bigger. I need to make sure it's big enough for my um, curtain holder to go inside. All right, so I wanted to mention there's two different ways we can do this. I can make it kind of like this and put the curtain holder in there and it'll hang, you know, real like kind of straight and flush like that. Or I could make this a little bit bigger um, like this and actually do two seams so that there's a hole here in the middle, but there's seams on both sides and that will give it more of like a, the bar will be here and then when you scrunch it, the top is going to be more like a poof. So I might actually um, get some pins and try it both ways with the bar and then put it up there and kind of see which way I like the look better. All right, so I decided to go with the two strips of seams and put it in the middle so I have like the fluff at the top. Now I need to figure out a way to cut down this. Um, it's actually like PVC pipe that I bought really cheap to make rods with when we first moved in thinking I'd replace later with real curtain rods and I never did, but these have worked out really well. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna work probably a little bit on that and then I need to work on the curtain for that. So yeah, let's just keep going. All right, so I am taking these little things, they actually used to be shower curtains and I am just going to hot glue them onto the edge of the PVC pipe. All I did to shorten it was saw. I just took a saw and sawed it down. And there is the finished product. All right, so I decided to not do the valence above the doors. I just wasn't loving the way it looked and I don't really have a curtain rod or PVC pipe <laughs> that is long enough um, to go above it right now. So I'm just gonna leave it as is for the moment and maybe come back to that at another time. I also would maybe like to get some blinds of some kind to hang on those windows so that if we want to, we can actually completely close off the windows Sometimes the sun can be really bright and sometimes at night we like to shut it if someone's sleeping in there. So that's something to look at down the road, but this will do for now and I am pleased with it overall. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.